Houston this weekend with a production of To Kill a Mockingbird, which will be starring many people from the local community. It is a classic work of literature written by Harper Lee. It focuses on the 1930s in the southern United States. It is a story of a lawyer who defends a black man who is accused of raping a white woman. And it's also the story of his daughter's coming of age. Our reporter Andre Arsenault had a chance to sit down with the director and talk a little bit about this production. Hey! Hey yourself. My name is Charles Baker Harris. I can read. So what? So I'd like to know. Folks call me Deal. I'm here visiting with my Aunt Rachel. You're sort of puny. I'm little, but These I'm young old. actors are performing a scene from the pages of an American classic. With themes of racial divide and the coming of age story for a young girl, the St. John Theatre Company will take their final bow of the season with their production of To Kill a Mockingbird. Consisting of a cast of 25, director Graham Percy has embraced the task of working with such a large number of actors. I think it's one of the most exciting things you can do. I think one of the challenges is really more in terms of, of keeping people engaged who don't have a huge amount to do uh, over a seven week period, you know, because some of these people, they've, we've staged their parts and they're a member of a crowd. And although they're vital that they be there, they're not moving their performance so far ahead. I'm often working on another aspect of the scene, so they're forced to do something <laughs> 20, 30 times that they know what they're doing in it, but still the scene isn't working for other reasons. So uh, it's creating the goodwill, and that's what I've been so blessed with in this production, that people have come out and continue to come out with all their energy night after night to be part of a crowd where they're hardly going to be featured, uh, but that I need them in it. So it's, that, uh, it's a wonderful thing that I couldn't do with any other company, really. Well, Radley's in there. All by At the heart of the production is eight-year-old newcomer to the St. John Theatre Company stage, Megan J. Elton. This marks her debut performance in a large production, and she says her and her character of Scout are almost one and the same. Well, she's a she's a little tomboy, and she's she's six years old, and I'm eight, but we pretty much the same person. How, how do you mean? How do you mean you're the same person? It's we're just like each other, spunky, a little funny. And we're like the little laugh a lot girl in the class, a little troublemaker. There is a certain amount of enthusiasm uh, that comes with youth that isn't exactly the same type of enthusiasm that, uh, that, that comes with being more experienced or, or being an adult on stage. And that's always something that you can learn from. There's, always, there's an immense amount of resources uh, within youth. In, in, in theater, in, in, in film, in television, that I find there's always something that you can learn from them. Let's make him come out! Make boo Bradley come out! If you want to get yourself killed... She may be new to the big stage, but Megan door. delivers a truly Two solid skits. performance. But even she admits balancing homework and rehearsal time can be a bit of a juggling act. Me and my mom try and practice every night. Our lines and stuff. It's pretty... It's kind of hard sometimes. These are huge parts, especially Little Scout. Megan's eight years old. Uh, she's been going to school full time and then rehearsing almost three hours a night. And she has, you know, about a, a, an act and a half of the play as Megan's to, to lead, you know. Uh, and that's hard for any actor. And here she is taking it on. And so it's natural that some things are obviously going to be forgotten at times and, and uh, little details are, are, are dropped. But what I get in return from her is far outweighs the little details that are, that are left aside. She's got a natural gift, so. As the cast and crew prepare for opening night, Percy hopes their performances will evoke emotion from their audience. I think it's just naturally moving, uh, so I'm hoping people, I'm hoping I get that much out <laughs> and that people see that uh, with, uh, with clear eyes. Take the taste out of my mouth. The St. John yes, Theatre Company production slow. of this classic tale performs on the Imperial Theatre stage from May 22nd to the 24th. In St. John for First Local, I'm Andre Arsenault.